Hello and welcome back to Let's Play X to the Threat. Anyway, without further ado, I thought we'd uh, continue exploring the rest of the Argon territories. Because we've not actually finished off of this section of the Argon territories. And I really need to open up more sectors for me to look at, and I thought I may as well, you know, tell you what the descriptions Entrance are for them. System. Power circle. So, yeah. This is mostly going to be an exploration episode. If people don't want to see it, then yeah, feel free. But alas, anyway, per circle. Sometime before the last Xenon conflict and the planet's shipfall was blown apart by a mysterious disaster of awesome magnitude. The shockwave eradicated all installations in the area. By the time the thriving Argon uh, industrial colony, at the time a thriving Argonian industrial colony, some effort has been made to re-establish the colony since, but the activities are currently restricted mainly to mining and agricultural efforts. Hmm. I see. Have to have a look around here at some point. This laser forge ma well, alas, what can you do? Hmm. But yeah, it doesn't seem like the most stable region. I'm also thinking about exploring the Boron territories to complete that circle. Because it'll make it a touch easier for uh, trading and stuff. That'll make sense. Entering system, Antigone Memorial. Anyway, welcome to Antigone Memorial. Antigone Memorial. This sector was once occupied by the Gar uh, Argonne's Federation's largest station, the Antigone. Antigone? Oh, Antigone, whatever. That's what they call it, Antigone Memorial, so I'm just going to go with Antigone. It was attacked by 215, in 215 by the largest Xenon fleet known to date. The station itself launched its defense fleet when one of the Xenon ships fired in into the docking bay, destroying some of the fighters and setting off a chain reaction in the process. The station was destroyed, killing thousands. Oops, killing thousands of people. Where did it go? Killing thousands of people. Uh, some of the crew and visitors managed to make it out uh, using the emergency escape pods at, that were recovered when the Xenon left the area. One of the medical recovery ships were that were dispatched to assist in the largest recovery effort sent out by the Argon, the Springbird, started by uh, started to leave the sector. It was attacked and forced into the atmosphere of the planet Sandwell, uh, where contact was then lost. The recovery operation was extended to find survivors on the planet's surface, but none were found because of the scorching heat from the local star. The outpost has now become the place of remembrance for many Argon who travel uh, here to honour their their war dead. Hmm. That is sad and unfortunate. Ooh, shipyard here. I had no idea actually. Shipyards are the heart and soul of modern hmm. society. I'll have to have a look at that later. I honestly did not remember there being so many shipyards dotted around. Anyway, off to the next one, shall we? <clears throat> Entering system, the hole. Uh, the hole. Uh, we've already went and talked about the hole, but we never talked about the wall. My uh, discoverer, when I told it to do, meet me up where I was going, went and decided to make its way into the wall. So even though the sector of the wall's already revealed, I'm still going to tell you about it. Ah, oh, goddammit, shits. Stop slowing me down, please. Thank you. Oh, I also wonder if a description for a certain sector is going to change later. I'm not going to say too much what happens, but I'm wondering if it's going to change. Don't worry, it's quite soon, so you won't have to wait too long. Entering system, the wall. Anyway, welcome to the wall. Uh, this system provides much of the needed power and food to the Argon military, as well as providing a convenient temporary HQ for the rapid response squad set up against the pirate activity and Xenon insurgents. Uh, it is often used as a base uh, to recharge long-range recon ships and carriers as a result it is well defended and often dangerous system during times of conflict. Hmm. Interesting. It's got a high energy plasma thro thrower forge, which this I might think about going to at some point. Hmm. 
I'll ask for now, we'll just make our way through the system and, you know, uncover more, as I was saying. I'm also wondering if I should get a couple of factories before I get a Nova. The only issue I see with doing that is um, if I get them before I get the Nova and a bunch of other craft to essentially defend the factory and fighters, I run Entering the risk end. of losing a freighter and a bunch of resources with it and thus a bit of money. And we don't have much expendable money right now. Anyway, President's End. Uh, the East Gate is the uh, system... Wait, what? The East Gate in this system links to the ar archaic and archaic systems recently evacuated by the Xenon. There are increased reports of pirate activity and the inhabitants of this uh, President End complain... Oh, we've already read that. Because we went to Eleanor's Fortune. Oh, i such an idiot for not remembering that. Hmm. So that's what the description is. Hmm. Anyway, let us continue on. I am actually kind of curious. I need to get this ship some uh, special command software and a mineral, sca mineral scanner because it's a lot quicker at scanning things than everything else. Anyway. We've almost got enough for Engine a Nova. System, cloud base southeast. Just by the way. Warning, ca Oops. cargo bay We've almost closed. got enough for a Nova large package, I should say. We could already get a Nova, but it would only be a medium package, at most. But anyway, Cloud Base Southwest. This quiet and unassuming system is a resupply point for many uh, Argon militaries. Uh, hostile activity is generally minimum as it is well guarded by security patrols. The space equipment dock is a useful source of surplus military equipment as well as second uh, second hand kits used by the many of the Argon military training outposts in the area. Um, speaking of which, we'll have a look slightly deeper just so we can get an idea. Oh, impulse ray emitters. This laser. Arl for particle accelerator cannons. We're looking for the gamma particle accelerator cannon because that's what can fit onto my aft turret when I get it on the Nova. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem there is one here. Which, alas, what can you do? Anyway, yeah, that's quite interesting. Oh, I keep forgetting I don't have a trading system extension. God damn it. Shipyards are the heart and soul of... Right, we may have to think about that later. Hmm. Plenty of impulse ray emitters here, though. Anyway, off to the next system, I guess. If I find the pirate Mandalay or Bayamon, I will probably hunt it down. Because they are a useful source of money, you get something like a hundred odd thousand just for uh, capturing one of them. Pretty much no matter what they've got on board, which is pretty damn nice. Unfortunately Entering though, right now I have to make sure belt. it's a small thing like a Mandalia or a Bayman, as I was saying. And it can't be anything extensively large. But yeah... I think I can do some automatic uh, surveying if I get uh, special command software and the mineral scanner on this craft. I think it can automatically do the looking at things, but I could be wrong with that. Anyway, off to Cloud Base Southwest and where the Gonar were, are, etc. I wonder if it should go one south as well. Hmm. For now, we'll leave that. Anyway. System, cloud base southwest. Welcome to Cloud Base Southwest. Actually, I'm going to fly in a straight line just so I can scan a bit of stuff. 
Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. cloud based southwest. This crowded system produces high quality food, clothing, and computer equipment for neighboring systems. A strange religious sect uh, reside here in a huge orbiting temple, searching for the secrets of sentient life in the universe by studying ancient legends and deep historical records. Or deep historical analysis, even. Ah, the cloud's only in the north, uh, eastern half, it seems. Hmm. Which is actually rather bizarre. Ooh. Chip plants. Okay. A computer plant manufacturer. I'm liking how much, uh, these people are hungry for resources. Like, uh, ore resources. Because that is, after all, what I'm working in right now, is being a miner. I'm also extraordinarily tempted to call that mining vessel the Eureka Maru. But at the same time, it doesn't have any forward mounted weaponry. Entering system, red light. You know, just because it's a mining capable of vessel. Oh, but anyway, red lights. Uh, the Argon military has taken full advantage of this rich mineral resources in the area. Competition is fierce, with many of the rear uh, ore companies all competing for business of the Mosquito Missile Factory. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Uh, there is still profit opportunities, however, in mining for the export market. The station here acts as a resupply point for Argon military fighters, and a good selection of surplus missiles can be found here. Oh, really? Argon equipment Argon dolls. space equipment docks are the locations hmm. in Argon territory for upgrading space vehicles. They only ever seem to have one megajoule shields and 125 megajoule shield, megawatt shields even. I keep saying joules. Which is kind of annoying, but alas, I understand. Hmm. Oh, satellite this station factory. station manufactures navigation relay satellites. I'll have to get some of that at some point, because it will save us quite a bit of time. You know what? Um, Vulture. Can you dock uh, at this satellite station, please? I think Docking there's an advanced one nearby somewhere, but Command I can't accepted. think where. Wait a minute, is there one in Argon Prime? Advanced? Nope. 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 Heron's Nebula? No. Oh well, what can you do, I guess? I'm pretty sure there's an advanced satellite uh, station somewhere, though. Hmm. Entering system, Ringo Moon. Which I always thought was a reference to the Beatles for some reason, I don't know why. Anyway, ooh, 125 megawatt shield production facility. This production <gasps> facility manufactures the largest and most powerful shields Mansell? used by stations, corvettes, destroyers, battleship carriers, and heavy trans- hmm. Anyway, I was about to word the things off. Um, Ringo Moon. This outpost uh, of basic insulation acts as a resupply point for all Federal Argon ships in the area. It produces only the basic uh, products most required by small most required by small ships and installations. The system is a spiritual home of the popular Argon sport known as Hardball. Hmm. Interesting. Just move her way slightly out of the way of that. Ha! Huh, so this is where Hardball's allegedly played. Or where the allegedly game started. Hmm. I wonder, is there any way to tell my computer to tell me when it's used? Or when it's done, I think? So I'm just quickly going through options. I 
I might disable the one that says show ships with notifications and none. Entering system, cloud base, northwest. But we'll get to that later. Cloud base, northwest. Uh, this system is sparsely populated and dedicated to the production of raw materials and food for insulations in the surrounding systems. The presence of a gamma or particle accelerate a uh, high energy plasma thrower production facility requires the heavy production of by federal ships against sabotage protection even from federal ships against sabotage from pirates seeking to weaken the Argon defenses. Huh. Well, you got plenty. Oh, hey, there we go. That's what I was looking for. This station manufactures advanced satellites. In addition to the regular. I just remembered I can't tell it to buy them. Arg! I would need to dock and with the uh, freighter, then tell the freighter like that. Unfortunately, I can't just tell it. Oh yeah, yeah. You use your trading computer and buy. But no, whatever. It's chill. It's fine. I've always worried though, like, if this was actually in the universe, I've always worried about worlds. docking a ship at a place and then using a trading computer to get that ship trading. Because you would require people to go on board, I would, I would assume. But anyway, three worlds. On the border of Argon Boron space, the three populated planets in the system are popular vacation destinations for Argon high society seeking a safe cosmopolitan surroundings. The very best in Argon cuisine is made in the system. The equipment dock provides a wide choice of weapons and upgrades for combat vessels and pleasure cruisers alike. Hmm. Okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing. There's opportunity here. A crystal fab. I can fuel quite easily. And I have impulse ray emitters I can, I believe, trade the ores with. This laser forge yeah, I can trade ores with the thing. We'll have to get to that afterwards, though. Allegedly, how much? Uh, actually, now that I think about it, how much would we need? Four times three, so we'd need twelve satellites to cover the whole of uh, Argon territories with satellites. Another thing we'll think about afterwards. Hmm. Entering system, Kingdom End. So welcome to Kingdom End. I went and did a cover of this. I'll put it in the description, I think. But I did a cover of the song from... Uh, Kingdom End Sector in X2? It doesn't seem to actually be playing the song right now, which is weird. But anyway, uh, Kingdom End. This sector contains one of the most varied uh, selections of products in the known universe. Equipment, raw materials, ship upgrades, and installations of many types can be traded here in, relatively, in a relatively secure environment. This is the Boron home sector, and this is a place of quiet contemplation and study. <gasps> also, don't ask why I did that so strict. This is a place of quiet contemplation and study, okay? Pointing finger. Ah, uh, but no, let's, let's, oh, I know I think about it. What do you have in your equipment docks? Boron space equipment docks are locations no in the Boron shields. territory I was for upgrading shields. space vehicles. Well, they've got gamma particle accelerator cannons at least, which is one thing that I was hoping to find. Warning, cargo, cargo bay closed. Well, no wingman no, available. I keep pressing that button instead. It's been so long using the right side of my keyboard, I have to bloody learn where all the buttons are again. But anyway. Entering system, Rock's Drift. If I remember right, Rock's Drift isn't that interesting, but I don't know, I can't remember. Anyway, Rogue's Drift. The Boron produced high quality electronics and semi organic computer systems, as well as more conven uh, conventional goods in this large, crowded sector. The supporting f factories produce a wealth of raw materials for local and export markets. Hmm.
Okay, yeah, that's, that's actually quite nice. <gasps> Boron Ray. Seriously, these, this is just so cool. Look at that design for the Boron ships. They're just so cool with the swimming, like, motion. <sighs> but anyway, whatever. <clears throat> it's because all their ships are basically designed to work underwater as well. Because a lot of their cities, I believe, are underwater. So they have to have something that would work underwater, and uh, you don't want to be pumping a bunch of chemicals into the water. So, spin. Spin your engines. For fighters, it's drag air in and kick it out the back. Or water in and kick it out the back. But you know what I mean. For the boron, you don't exactly want to be pop, uh, polluting your waters. Anyway. Entering system, Queen's Space. Welcome to Queen's Space. Queen's Space, this sector provides cheap and clean power for all the Boron sectors. The Boron's ecological sensitive uh, ideology requires all power used by the Boron sectors, even planetary power supplies, to be produced in a, sa a space side. Wow, really? That's not very efficient, but sure. I guess, theoretically, it would be... No, it wouldn't really be that ecological either, I wouldn't have said. Seriously, why would you... Hmm. Hmm. Well, what can you do? Anywho. I think that's ma most of the exploration done I was going to do. But we're going to expand it a little further and go uh, southwards, I think. Maybe I should trade with the Paranid a little? Entering system, Menelaus's Frontier. Anyway, welcome to Menelaus's Frontier, which was Menelaus... Menelaus... Frontier or something like that? And... Uh... Da -da -da -da, what's that game called? And X Beyond the Frontier. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but X2 the threat is quite a uh, mouthful over X3 Albion Preload or Reunion. Just, it doesn't seem to flow as well. Hmm. I guess Reunion flows better because it's one word. You know, so X3 Reunion, it's just da da da. I'll be in prelude as da 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 da. Rock's fate. I don't know, it could just be me. You know, I'm just being weird and talking on the internet after all. But anyway, I think we'll make our way just a little bit south of Elena's Fortune. Not too far, just a little bit to open it up a touch. I don't know if we enter Paranid Space if we go south of Elena's Fortune. I believe we should. Though, we might have to go one. Easterly, I think. So one south and one east of uh, Eleanor's fortune to get there, but it should be fine. I, I'm slightly worried about the reds. Okay, sure. I'm also massively paranoid about things flying Entering through gates system. ever since Atreus's that clouds. Uh, event, let's say, that happened in Albion Preludes. Oh boy, that was that was something else. Come up to the first gate. First gate kills me. Yeah, great, love it, love it. Ugh. Bloody boron. Uh, not shark. Boron orca came out of nowhere. Literally just smashed me in the face. I panicked in my boron octopus. I panicked as I squished against its shields. I could have dodged it as well if I didn't sma slam all the buttons. That's literally the reason I ended up dying, is because I just panicked and slammed all the buttons. Well, what can you do? Anyway. Entering system, Farnham's Legend. Not quite there, one more south. And we. Actually, you know what? 
If we just go west so we get to new territory, and I might as well read that one. I, we're never taking on that Oka no, I know that much. Well... Pirate Orinoco. The Orinoco's all alone. Although that dolphin is shooting its load into it and it's doing nothing. Which has made me slightly worried. So we'll leave it alone. I was going to do it. Almost. I was almost going to do it. Seeing as I was alone and I would have had some support, but that Entering dolphin did system. nothing. Bala G's joy. Also, I don't know if I've done this in the future. You'll have to ask future monkey. But I think I'll read some of the stories at the end of each episode. Because there's some stories from... Um... The manual? Not actually reading stories, but like excerpts that I find interesting from the manual I might read. Because some of them are written like they're in universe type thing. And there's some quotes that are in universe, which I find kind of nice. Entering system, all manket slots treaty. <gasps> Pirate Mandalay. Kill the Mandalay. Oh, oops, I forgot to read the last two sectors. Anyway, Balaji's Joy. Deep in unclaimed space, this system is little more than a long established and well expected ambush. Rogue Taladi and Argon Station provide cover for aggressive pirate strike forces. A single cratered moon holds the wrecks of many ships disabled, stripped, and left to fall to its surface by three freebooters, hull cutters, and privateers alike. Omancla Schlotz Treaty. Black market food is required by many in the hidden outposts and illicit operations in unclaimed space. This system provides some of the necessary supplies and is protected by both heavy pirate presence and a thick asteroid field. Uh, mineral content of these asteroids is likely the cause of conflict between the smugglers and their legitimate mining corporations sooner or later. Or will be, even. That's a lot of payments. See, this is why I want a Nova. Because I could strip all these ships and get so much money just for patrolling this area of space. I could pirate the pirates, basically. Which is what my idea is to do, just pirate the pirates for a bit. I should make plenty of money like that. Maybe buy, like, another Nova, another freighter. Tell the no actually well one over two busters, I think. Entering system. No one over one over I think triumph. would be good. The busters got to be as strong as possible. But anyway, Brennan's triumph. Uh the last scene on conflict with the sen uh sentient races brought forth many heroes. This system is named after one uh foremost oh blah 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 blah. Sorry. This system is named after one of the foremost of those who risked all to repel the Xenon threat. Though the name still has deep echoes of honour, courage and wisdom, the sector the system is corrupt with dangers. The Argon are particularly concerned that the use of this system as a base for slave trade is an insult to one of their most honoured names. Two Okanoas. That Bayamon's all alone. Pirate Bayamon. Hmm. Huh. You know what I like? I like it when there's a target all alone. Target is now in firing range. Oh, you came after me. Cute. Now oh. Goron, show how to fight. That's fine. You can come after me all you like. It's 
It's also cute that you think you're going to teach me how to fight. For the queen. Okay, this round trip, if this guy bails, will be cut slightly short. Attention, energy low. Attention, energy low. Okay, come on. Attention, energy low. Ah, that's unfortunate. For the queen. You're not for the queen. You're pirates, dafties, daft pirates, borons. Oh yeah, we're doing this for the queen. You're 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 a pirate for the queen. You're 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 a pirate. You're against the constabulary. You are being promoted. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of enemies. Only two Bayman though. Uh, I don't have the strength to take on two Bayamon. I can barely take on one Bayamon. Gate. Split fire. I mean, after I've taken on one Bayamon, I have to uh, regain my laser energy. It's just, nah. Nah. Hmm. Well, you know what? We'll go through the west gate and we'll call that an end to the exploration for now. Because we're starting to get on a little bit in uh, time. On time, I should say. Not in time. I mean, we're fa faster than all of these pirates, so we don't even have to worry about really being destroyed by them. Entering system. Split we'll just fly fire. over in this direction, though, to be safe. Ah, uh, split fire. Much of the illicit trading in the known universe goes through this system. Pirates and smugglers trade in all, with all races and act as go-betweens for sensitive or illegal deals between the species. There is a thriving industry of the cheap counterfeit paranoid jewelry, jewelry uh, that is often used as a used conveniently anonymous as a as a convenient anonymous payment on black market deals. Hmm. So counterfeit jewels are used as an anonymous anonymous payment. Huh. These factories produce the precious material known as. I'm actually curious what the one to the south is. The gate to the south. Gate. Priest's pity. Okay, so that is Parana Territories. Anyway, with that, I will leave it there. So until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed.